Hi everybody, this is Sandy here from IPMS Toronto and today we're going to talk about bases. Um, you built your model and you've, you're happy with it and I think what really sets it off nicely is if you put it onto a, a base. Now you can build your own bases or you can buy something. The base I'm going to talk about today is this one from a company in Toronto called Barbican. There it is there. These are available from uh, Hornet Hobbies and uh, we'll just talk about it a little bit. The bases themselves come like this, they're white and they're made from plaster. So what you can do, you can either just put that on top of an existing piece of wood or you can actually cut them. Now to cut them, to fit, this is a typical IKEA picture frame. You can, you can purchase these at any IKEA, different colors. So what I do, I trim them to actually fit the actual base, like so. Now the best way to do that is to score the actual base. Now, this is a piece I've already taken. I've actually cut this base to actually fit. So, what I, what I would do here is just take a your hefty, your handy craft knife. Score it on both sides. Hopefully this will break like like that. Breaks nice clean break. Now you can sh make these correct size to fit whatever base you want. Put it in there. There we go. All right. Now <clears throat> normally. What I do when I get the base, I paint it flat black. And this is a, it comes in the natural color, natural white. I just airbrush it with some Tamiya flat black. So once you've got that, now obviously that looks pretty grim. So what do you have to do? I normally do. I get myself some gray paint. Like this, is, this happens to be XF83. This is a medium sea gray. We've also got some here, a slightly darker Imperial Japanese Navy Arsenal XF75. So I'll take the darker one. And dry brush. You know, dry brushing is basically you get a little bit of paint, take most of it off, and just do this. See, I'm building up, it's lightening up a little bit. Don't be afraid to do just just that, Brit. Now this will take a little while. As you can see, I've got one here which I've already done before previously. You see how that's been done? It's been different shades of grey. So let's just do a little bit of this here. We'll put a little bit more of this on. And don't worry, if you put too much on, you're not happy, all you've got to do is get another coat of black and go ahead and do it again. You put it both ways. There we go. You see how we got that's coming on? I've actually... Oh, see, I put too, bit too much on there now. That's too, too, too much. You see how it's coming on? I don't know, it looks okay to me. Yeah, well, yeah, I think, yeah, exactly. Now that's, that's too bit more. Now what we can do possibly, I'll do this whole side, all right? I'll do, the, I'll do this whole side here. Just basically, I'll take a bit more of that off. These bases, and they, they make a nice base. And uh, you know, for a small, smaller vehicle like a Panzer II, even a Panzer III, you can get a Panzer II or Panzer III on there. Also, I like the idea of having a lip around here, so if somebody's picking it up, it slides, it won't fall off. So, one of the reasons I like it. There we see, just line it up a little bit. All right, there we go. Yeah, I say don't be too concerned what happens because. You can take it off. You can, if you're not ha not happy with it, just go over it with some uh, black again until you get what you want. Now, okay, this is just a little side here. Actually, the other day I was uh, going to a show and I needed some bases, 
So I cut them. I done like three of them because once you set up, you can do them. I done three of them in an hour, and all slightly different. All slightly different. What was your first step? First step is to paint everything black. Do a matte black. Matte black. Okay. Matte black. Okay. Yeah. Now I put this is the uh, darker gray. This is the darker uh, any gray. I mean, this is any color you want. But, you know, whatever you've got left over from, you know, I don't think I'll be building many more Japanese airplanes, so I'll use that cool gray. Now, okay. You see how that's done? That's light up. Now let's go. Let's just go maybe to a uh, a slightly lighter gray. I've got some RAF. Uh, Gray there, RAF uh, medium C gray. Let's just try a little bit. I particularly like Timia paints because I think they're, uh, I think they're uh, easy to clean up with. There we go. This is acrylic or an? It's acrylic paint. Oh, I yeah, I use all. It's easy to clean up with, and it, uh, there we go. There we go. See, a little bit lighter. See, it's coming on. Okay. You see how it picks the texture up there? I mean, I'm doing this very quickly, but you can spend more time and get exactly what you want. All right, you can. Let's say if you've got, you can, you've got two or three of them, you can line up two or three, and you can just you know go at it. And then they're a very attractive little base. Robert makes a really nice job. You see, now see how it's picking, it's starting to pick everything up. Looks like a street to me. Yeah, it does. I, somebody said, oh, well, in Europe they don't have black cobblestones. I said, well, depends where you are in Europe. They have green, they have a gray, brown. Use your imagination. Yeah, exactly. You could even put some, you know. Sandy? Yeah. Manchester has those. Okay, and you could have possibly, you could have even some, you know, dog poo in there somewhere. And you see how that's picked up? Compare it with sight here, it's black. No, we've done that, okay? There we go. The thing is, the thing is that's, that's, that's kind of, let's try a little bit. I've got some brown there. Let's try a little bit of brown. This is uh, flat earth. To me, a flat earth, all right? Same thing. Just a little bit. Don't worry about, you know. You see how everything's picking everything up? No, you can go a bit lighter than that if you wish, but maybe you can put look, you can actually mix some white and give, make it lighter and lighter. I like that grey colour. Oops. Is that the RAF one? Yeah, no, this is the RAF. Yeah. That's the one you used before. Yeah, this, uh, this is like this. Yeah. See that? That's, that's picking up. That's really picking up nicely. Medium C gray. Medium C. You can, you know, you don't get up, hung up on any particular color because you can, you can, you can, hi there. You can actually do this. This is, this just brings it all up. Sandy Street. Yeah, there we go. See that? No. Okay, that's fine. There's the. This is a. I guess it's a, a, a drainage ditch where all the uh, effluent would uh, flow into. So what I'm going to do. So as you hear, you can carry on doing that. Now what I can also you can do. You can also do. You can get your. You can get your MIG pigment and stuff. Oh, I've got one here. This is, this is fuel stains. This is rust streaks. This is uh, winter grime. Winter grime. Winter grime. Anything you get. I mean, half these colors all look the same anyway, to be honest. <laughs> I've got, look outside. Yeah. Winter grime. This is what comes from Toronto. Yeah. There we go. Let's uh, I don't like that. See, it's not. It's going in there. But there again, it's kind of def defeating, defeating the whole plot thing of. Uh, let's test that. So what? Just to take that off again. No, don't. It looks good. No, People have fuel spills all the time. Yeah, well, that's. Uh, you can use that. That's not maybe the one I want to use. But you can use any of these products. There's rust streaks, for example. For example, you could put down here. This is rust streaks. I'm going to dry brush up later on to get a little bit of uh, bring that grey back once that dries. This here, you could see, you can thin this out. And you can put a little bit of this down here. 
I would normally thin it out a little bit. I didn't bring any thinner with me. What do you thin that with? Just a, uh, just a. Uh, it's an acrylic. So yeah. Water. No, no, that's not. This is, this is actually oils. You oh. just use uh, turpentine or something. Turpentine. Yeah. This, this, you can put some of that in there as well. See, there's a little, there's a little bit tonal change there. You can also, if you wish, you can also get your uh, get your uh, pigments here. We got the cyan. This, this is the dry brush. The driest. Uh, you put a little bit of this on here. What is that? This is just pigments. Vallejo pigments. Including snow and Excellent. I got some Japanese armor bags here for people to look at. You can put some of this stuff in here, like yeah. so. What scale? <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't put any like uh, thinner or anything on it now that you got it on just to keep it, to keep it set there or nope. just leave it like that eh? I'm going to see, see you got, now you've got a little bit of dirt in there you can actually let's go back so this is too dark so I'm going to try and do a little bit of uh, on top of there you, you just, there's no there's no rules just do whatever you just whatever you've got at hand and say so these, these ones here I like I don't see how you say it's too dark. There we go. There we go. See, I bring, bring that back, bring that back again, okay? So, I've, yeah, I know, but, but a combination, a, co a combination of uh, pigments, whatever you've got at hand, all right? Now, there's one thing I like to do. For example, see this grate here? And you can see it on this as well. That would be burnished steel. So what I do here, see this, this is the same, this has been dry brushed as well. You can see the dry brushing on there? This is burnished steel. What I do is I get some. This is this is a color I really love. It's called it's a model color uh, Vallejo seven o eight two two German camouflage black brown. What I do with that, I paint the. Oops. I paint. I paint the metal parts. So I don't have water there. I must do that. And I paint like that. Yeah, that's a fresh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me feel really bad. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, you know what's it? Yes. Oh, well, then that's the yeah. Come on. You know, it's left-handed people were smarter, but that's another, that's another story. Oh, well, and short. And so short. Dr. Ripper was left-handed. Hey? Dr. Ripper was left-handed. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That's it. They say it's uh, geniuses and serial killers. Yeah, exactly. Right. Did you say Come with Dr. Me, Dr. Ripper was left-handed? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. Come with me and I'll tell you who they are. <laughs> all right. Okay. Every, everyone who's left-handed knows them all. How do you know? Anyone who's left-handed knows whoever's been left-handed. Like, Nixon is left-handed? Uh, so was... Um, Charles so, Manson? Charles Manson? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think actually most American presidents since the war have been left-handed. Oh, really? uh, uh, Johnson. Um, uh, Obama was. Eh? Obama was, but Trump isn't. No, well, that's... Uh, so was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's not to be shown in America. Um, so once, anyway, once that's dry, what I'm going to do, this is a really good product. Um, graphite, uh, start, AK pigment dark, dark steel. Once that dries, we're going to take a little bit of that. Take a little bit of that. This stuff is absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to let it dry, but when that's drying, you see this here? I just put this on and just. It. Well, I think it is, I think it's just, it's just graphite. Just powdered graphite? Yep. You see it? It's better than pencil graphite. Yeah. And that, that, that will last you probably all your life. I don't think you'll need any more than that. It goes on. It just. And you see, you don't paint it black or paint it. I just pick this 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 German color. I find it for gun barrels, anything. But once it once it dries, just take a look at that. This one's almost. Once this is almost dry, we'll uh, we'll give it a little tip. We'll give it a little coat of that. Do you need to seal it up? No, 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 no. Let's carry on with our uh, dry brushing.
Let's carry on with our dry brushing a little more. Oops. How much are these frames, Andy? The frames are uh, about five bucks from uh, Ikea. They, they come in different colors. This one's particular one's gray, but they come in gray, black. What scale? Different, different. One thirty-fifth scale. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like any scale you want it to be. Yeah, probably right. Probably right, Harvey. Any scale you want it to be. Is it bigger street or a smaller street? Oh, who knows? I don't know. But it looks really good. Like, you, see, you see how the difference? I like how you got a difference in color there between the two of them. Yeah. That's the drain, you know. Could be, you know, uh, something rusty and the water's. Uh, going down the drain, it's, it's depositing some of the the uh, rust on the on the actual. Uh, so you can spend, you can, you can have you can have lots of fun with these things. It's, it's, a, it's a darker big pigment, right? Let's put a bit of this one. But Czech, Czech roads had different brickwork than Polish. Yeah, roads. I'm afraid so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I don't know if that's. But and if that was in the UK, there'd be a white line down the middle right. somewhere. Right, yellow lines for not parking. There we go. So you're putting some of this in. There we go. See that. There we go. Now put a bit more of the, a bit more of the, uh, the dry on the top of there. So it's, there we go. Sorry, Shane, where do you use the frames from? I get the frames from IKEA. Uh, they're about five bucks, five, six bucks. They come in different colors. Oh, actually, I thought this was black, but it must be mine at the time. It just, great. just a tip if you guys go to Michael's, they have the coupon section. Sometimes you can get 40, 50% off very easily and just go pick up the frames for like 40, 50% off. Or what I've done is, you know, when I put my clean on. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are loose. They have no idea what to yeah. charge. So they charge to give you for four, uh, bucks, yeah, four bucks each. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> They're normally 19. Yeah. yeah. Michael's have a, actually Michael's, I was in there the other day, and they had a sale on uh, pigments. Oh no, sorry, oils. And for, fortunately I missed out. They didn't have, the one I went to didn't have it by Sherry Gardens. You see, I'm just doing this, just... I'll wait till that dries and I'll, then I'll do the um, I'll do the graphite on it. You can see how, see that's just kind of, they think, what's that, it's brown, but once you put the graphite, it will really start to pick up. So how much are the base again? Uh, Robert, they're about six, seventeen dollars, seven, six, six, sixteen. Uh, where can we get these from? From uh, Hornet Hornet Hobbies. Hobbies, Hornet Hobbies, yeah. Uh, Dave's got. There's, I believe, there's four different. There's four of these type, right? Six different. Six different, different ones. Six different ones. Okay, so Robert, Robert actually makes the bases, and uh, here we go. Oh, this one's the fact that the grade has gone missing. Somebody's got to put a grade in. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm just. I'm just well, actually, you could show a Russian half climbing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Polish. Yeah, yeah. Jack the Ripper, yeah. Left handed. Uh, uh, yeah. Left hand leading. There we go. Just a bit of this. I'm just doing that and we'll do something. But that he, was dirt steel pigment. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Oh, that's right, uh, Chris. That's. that's uh, yeah. As opposed to light steel pigment. Well, I just like the way that looks. I I think it looks terrific. I I've, I've seen a street like that right near my house. Yeah, I mean you know people don't get too just. Yeah, Harvey, you're photographing it right, like some nerd, right? Why does that guy photographing yeah. the brickwork? But you, you see how you got that difference, the color in the center there. It just gives a little bit. It breaks up the monotony. Uh, no, it's not quite. It's not quite dry yet. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna wait for that. Wait for that dries. It dries very quickly. It's all acrylic paint, but we'll, then you'll, you'll see how it really pops once we, uh, once we. Uh, you see, I'm just doing that. We'll see. We'll see how the next two. And if you don't like it, just get some more black. Uh, spray some more black on and continue doing it until you get it to a point where. You're, I mean, I'm quite happy with this one here. You got you got multiple colors there. You got browns. Yeah, all different types of colors there. I mean, you know, it's always nice to have your your model on a base because you can you can lift it, move it without having putting your hands on it. And the same with the judges. Judges can pick it up and they can move it like you can move it like this without looking at it, without uh, you know, it falling off. I really like these. I think, I think Robert done a really nice job in these bases. I really like them. I've got about six of them at home. And if you're building a model for you know to give to somebody like a you know your presentation model, you know put it on a you know a base, 
and uh, you can attach it with some glue and uh, then it, you know they won't knock it over and everything will be so which one's that say to me or what oh this is just to me a gray i think it's, uh, this is, this is uh, you can use any color harvey you can use any color you want whatever you've got a lot left over i've also got japanese and uh imperial japanese, imperial japanese. it's not a japanese one well yeah they have bamboo ones right Japanese have super highways. Yeah, they do. I could have sworn I saw a road like that in a picture in Japan, for sure. But I also saw one in Manchester, too. So. There we go. See there it? Go. There we go. See, see, see that? It's picking it up a little bit. It's like 80% of the market is digital You just go over it as many times as you want. If you're not happy with it, get the black, the Chimia black paint out again and just do it. You can, you can use, there's so many different things you can, you know, it's, as I say, don't get too, now what I'm going to, this, this is almost dry now. So what I'm going to do, take a little bit of this uh, dark steel, there's a tiny little bit, actually, but over there somewhere, and just, you see how it's picking up? See that steel, the steel colors coming through? Like burnished steel? You see that? Yeah, when you get the light shining on it. You see how it's very shiny. You see that? Like that? You see how it's the burnished steel is on there? Because it, you know, it would be burnished because people, you know, people would be walking on and stuff, and horses or horses' hooves or whatever. What time every period you're trying to do, and then if you want, yeah, I think that's 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 pretty well got it there. In fact, you can look at the, you could even actually pick up the. Look at that. Yeah, get a little yeah. Like moisture. Yeah, and then, and that's another thing. If you want to, uh, for example. This is fuel stains, right? You know, if there's a, for example, a streetcar line, and the streetcar would probably lose grease and oil, you can just do a little bit of this. Put a little bit of this on. This is kind of a gooey stuff. And just, uh, and that would, that would dry. It could even be, that's where the dog poo goes, you know. <laughs> Because in the olden days, they didn't have doggy bags. They just, the dogs just pooed in there by the grate, right? And waited for the rain. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you can do something like that. So that's the basic idea. And I think, well, I think really, for like $25, when you put this together, now I'll probably do a bit more, but I just put this in here. You can just flip this down. And I won't do them all because I'll probably take it to do a bit more work on it. There's your base for your, your model. I think that, you know, so you could do a bit more work on it, but that's a general idea of how to do it. You can use any color you want, whatever you got left over. You can go with maybe some of this winter, more winter streaking, put some more rust on there, uh, rust streaks. Yeah. So that's about all there is. There's, there's no uh, real. Uh, Magic trick. If you want to have a go, it's a little bit here. If you could, if you want to try a dry brushing, there we go. Have you ever had a dry brush? I'm assuming you all know how to dry brush. And there's you another. Cut, cut it. Yes, and I think you, you see, um, yeah, I cut it now, as I said. What do just, you use for cutting? Uh, we just gone through, here we go again. You just go over there, get your handy dandy. You strike it with the. Uh, yeah, do it both sides. Just basically do this, score it. Faster, isn't it? <laughs> Just be careful. Now, one word of caution. Yeah, well, with the, the, the bases were not flat, don't turn them up and put too much pressure on them, otherwise they will they'll crank. And you're, once that happens, you're 16 bucks out. You have to go and get another one. So you, can't stick, you can't really stick them back together again. Once they break, I had that with one. I was trying to put this little grade in here, and I was pushing it in, pushing it in. I went from the other side, push it in, 
and because it's not it's not flat, it snapped. Oh, yeah. uh, Why glue the you, no. yeah, you might just go and bang, bang yeah. another one. Okay, so basically both sides. Snap like that, alright? So there we are, that's basically how to make a base using Robert's excellent bases and a five dollar IKEA base. Now that's probably big enough for a uh, most small armored cars, Panzer ones, Panzer twos, 38 Ts, light tanks. Even you could even get a Sherman on there if you wanted to, but it's maybe a little too small for a Sherman. But basically, that's how I do it. Uh, I've done maybe I don't know, a dozen of these, and once you get. I say I sometimes get maybe three of them, and I set it up, and I just go one after the other, and within an hour you're all finished. So that's it, guys. Hopefully that was been useful and helpful to you. Well done, Sandy.